I don't normally do any type of like product review or hype on anything, but this thing, this new Maytag board is just too cool not to show you guys. First thing, right off the bat, I noticed is they have the signal wires, signal and ground, focus, laid out in the corners which is it's about freaking time somebody did that right that's awesome so you can just run your ESC's to the corners the um, the bootloader button is off to the side so when you mount it in your frame you can still get to the bootloader button without having to try to stick something up in your frame to push the bootloader and get everything plugged in if you're like me and have big giant fat fingers it's nearly impossible it's a real pain in the butt it has breakouts for everything on it now over here right is your s bus i'm really excited about the signals in the corner things because i always hated all the wires running across the board everywhere so this is going to make a super neat build um so if you're a spectrum guy right it has the 3.3 and then it has the s bus and it has a separate breakout for a 3.3 over here in case there's something else you want to run off of 3.3. Um, it's the Betaflight OSD, an F4 board. Uh, and it has breakouts for absolutely everything. Your camera, your VTX, whatever voltage you're running. You can run full voltage to like a, uh, a Unify um, HV. Um, or the 5 volt. It has, it has 5 volt outs. For the VTX, VTX ground, here's your cam with a 5 volt out. Here's a separate 5 volt out if you're running the, running a small, there's a separate 5 volt out um, right here. If you're running uh, like the TBS Unify that's only a 5 volt and it's a 3 amp output. That's very important for like those TBS and the tramps. Um, even though a lot of boards have a 5 volt output. Some of them are only one amp, and that's why people get crappy video. Um, and, of course, all your TX hookups, so you can um, LED, buzzer, uh, the TX breakout, so you can hook up the smart ports, and everything. Now, what's really cool is if you use this... Now, now, this could be used because of the way it's set up and laid out. Obviously, you can use it with, like, any PDB you wanted to or any ESCs you wanted to. Um, but if you use it with the... And, oh, and it has SD card black box logging, right? For you black, black box guys, I usually only use it, like, at the very end of my tune or something's like like really wrong but now if you use it with the um, FC hub oh and by the way this is all 6s um, compatible if you use it with the FC hub right you can solder your ESC's with the signal wire there and check this out it comes with a ribbon cable so all you're going to do is mount up this PDB and ribbon cable it to the board. And that's it for your wiring. And that's going to make an, a really neat, um, tight little stack. I think that's really cool. Um, the PDB can also be used separately with any board you want, which is awesome. It has breakouts for everything on it. 5 volt, VCC, 3 volt, cam. The, the whole nine yards current sensor and this has the good um the good becs in it you can tell by the little 100 here and all this line of capacitors and stuff actually joshua bardwell did a whole entire here's your current sensor here did a whole entire breakdown on this board so you can check that out i'm not going to get into the the super tech aspects of it but this can be used separately but if mated with with this board, all you have to do is hook up your ESCs and the ribbon cable, and that's it. You're good to go. Not wires everywhere. And if you use this separately, like I said, the the signal ground wires for your ESCs are broke out in the corners, 
So it also is going to make a very neat um, build. So I'm pretty excited about um, getting this thing going and mounting it up. Um, and it comes with the rubber soft mount standoffs. Um, come in the package with the flight controller. So, um, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. The, uh, uh, of course, the, um, the PDB comes with mounting hardware too, but the, the FC comes with the rubber mounts. So, anyway, there's your little rib ribbon cable connectors. Just pop the ribbon cable in there, and that's it. You've got a nice, neat little stack. So, oh. And by the way, if you go to the um, Maytag FC F405, uh, just Google it. They have a whole entire web page dedicated to this board. It has every layout, every pinout, how to hook up everything, uh, whatever you're using, SBUS, um, whatever VTX you're using. It shows how to hook up everything traditionally with silicone wiring everything together or with the ribbon cable it has it has it all on that page everything you can possibly think of so i don't know has maytech made the perfect flight controller i don't know we'll see thanks for watching